why why we do Kayani. Um, I honestly and truly want to help as many people as I can. As young as I am, lots of my friends are like, why are you doing this help thing when nothing's wrong with you? It's not about me, guys. It's about how many lives we can touch and help, whether we know or not. So thank you so much, Melissa. Did such Thanks, a good Melissa. job. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
compliment. Oh, what color is that? You know, that's pretty. I I wish I could tap into the male bathroom. Then my business would probably really blow up. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is that I'm constantly, you know, no matter where you are, you can go out there and share kayaki or share a story or introduce yourself or connect with someone that you know or don't know. And lo and behold, I did not know this person, but I met her over the phone. Uh, Shirley, are you in the house? Shirley, <laughs> I got to meet her in the bathroom face to face. You never know. So, <laughs> sorry, you know, we were just doing our thing. So anyway, um, so obviously, obviously my uh, talk today is on the power of prospecting and of connecting. The art of connecting, I absolutely adore because, I mean, anyone can just talk to people and, and say they're going to, you know, um, meet with them or whatever, but how do you know you truly connect with somebody or what you're prospecting with them? How many of you really uh, have that experience in prospecting your people and really connecting with them? This mic? With you? Yes, absolutely, right? So um, don't wait for the Kayani to connect with people. So this is what um, my topic is all about. Leading with the product. I mean, that's one of the things that separates Team Aloha from any other team out there, I believe, is that we stand behind the product 100% and we lead with the product. There are many times where I started the business and I started leading with the money and the business and I got nowhere fast, basically. And when I switched over and I started talking with Mike and the top leaders, uh, Scott, Melissa, they said, you gotta switch things around, you gotta change the game, and you know, leave with the product. Because when you start to do that, then you, you care enough about people. People who are money driven, you know, you only go so far. You're only attracting, you know, those type of people. So leading with the product is, is very, very key and essential in building this network marketing business, in building Kayani. And also promoting and promoting the vision. After talking with and meeting with Kirk Hansen and the, and the factors, I mean, they, do they have vision or do they have vision? Amazing vision, right? And so we lead with the product and we promote the vision. We promote the mission and then we become the vision. Does that make sense? We start to live the vision, start to empower people. I mean, if you, did you really ever think about our mission statement? And, and people can say, you know, I believe in this or we, we do this, but are you actually living it? Are you actually going out there and, and promoting that? Um, I find that very key and essential as well. So we attract who we are. How many of you guys are out there talking to people and, and maybe you know, getting let down or, or ob objections are appearing? Many people out there are waiting to hear Kayani. How many of you guys believe that? They're just waiting for somebody to come in and tell me something about these great products. Now, if you look at the characteristics and values, uh, this is sort of like a relationship. So, there is, did you mention I was uh, single? <laughs> yes. This is why I'm still single. <laughs> so, I, right, I'm just gonna compare. Because I'm looking for some key characteristics in a man, yeah? So, what kind of characteristics and values are you looking for in your prospect, right? I mean, I, when I, when I used to share Kayani, I used to say, you have a credit card and a pulse? Is it, let's sign you up, you know, let's go. But it, it, even more than that, and so I'm looking at, okay, who is this cat? Where did he come from? You know, what kind of value could I have this guy over to my house for dinner with my kids? I mean, that's how I look at it now in connecting with people. And I'm very, very picky, just like I'm picky in choosing my men. Does that make sense? Okay. So characteristics and values, open-minded, positive, coachable. These are just some examples. And you can add to this list as well, okay? Now, um, self-motivated. How many of you guys are having a hard time finding self-motivated people? 
people who are self-starters, where they think, you know what, I got it, Melinda, I, I'm going to do it. You know, someone like Kiki Don and, and Darren, you know, people like that, they're self-motivated. Right? Um, actions, connectors, uh, collaborators, and, and like-minded people. Now, when I put this out there, you yourself need to be that as well. So whatever you want to attract, make sure that you are that as well. Are you with me? Say, oh yeah. Oh yeah. My thing, the guy that says, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, um, so it's basically that. How simple is that, right? So what does that mean, guys? It means we need to start investing in ourselves. We need to start implementing personal development, joining mastermind groups. We need to start investing in books and audio. How many of you have a mentor? Raise them high. I have a mentor. You have a mentor? I do. Where is he? Oh, scary. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. He has a mentor. I'm like that mentor is like something from a bar or something. Okay. So mentors are are very very key. You don't want to do this alone. You don't want to lean onto your own understanding and think you know it all. You want somebody who is successful, who has their best interests. People, you know, who can guide you and along your pioneering journey. Those are the types of people that you want to mentor you, whether they're dead or alive. It doesn't really matter. Um, now, here's the thing. Your mind is infectious, all right? So when you're going out there and prospecting, it starts with your mind, okay? This is a mind thing. And sometimes people may say, well, it's just her style, or it's just his style, right? But when it comes down to it, it's basically your mindset. It's you. It really is. It really It really comes down to you, okay? Now, you, you don't like it. Here's how many of you guys have come to that place where you don't like to go out there and prospect, but you do it. I don't like it, but I do it. Yeah, kind of? And then you get to another place where you don't like it, but you do it anyway. Wait, I'm sorry. You don't like it, so you don't do it. You don't do it. You don't like it, you don't do it. You don't like it, you don't do it. We get to that place. Or you don't like it, but you do it anyway. Right? Because you have to put food on the table because you just have to, just to do it. Or you like it and you do it. How many of you have gotten to that place where you like doing what you do and you do it? Yeah? Absolutely. Awesome. How about you like it and we teach it? Right? You like it and you teach it. Why do you think diamonds or emeralds or, you know, top producers are still recruiting? You get plenty of money. <laughs> now, because they can earn the right to teach it. They can earn that right to set that example. Because you cannot do what you don't, you can't, you can't teach what you don't do. You cannot do that. Right? That's like blasphemy or something like that. <laughs> so, you come to the point where you like it and you teach it. Alright? How many of you guys want to get to that point? Where you can go out there and start training people, you're doing it. It's, it's a win-win situation. It's, that's, that's, that's the whole infectious mindset right there. Now, the steps that yield results. First, it starts, it starts with the intent in even having a conversation with anyone. How many of you guys wake up in the morning to the desires of your heart and not your alarm clock? I know Mike does. <laughs> you wake up to the desires of your heart. And it starts off with the intent to have a conversation with someone that day. So how many of you have created a list? We all have a list. Right? Now, this one? Really? we got a lot of work to do here. So it starts with the intent to even have a conversation with someone. Right? Whether, okay, today I'm going to go out there and I'm going to talk to three new people. No, actually, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to talk to five new people. Right? Or, you just, it happened organically. How many of you guys are growing organic? Oh, well, that's deep. So, like, growing organically meaning when you're in a store, right, or, or at a gas station or in a bank, you don't know you're going to run into, you, you didn't have no intention of talking to anybody today because your, your life is just slammed and jam-packed. You don't have much time. 
But you see someone lifting, you know, on the side of the road or in the bank or wherever. Like once around the and I ran into a lady who was on crutches and really asked me some chimney tacos. <laughs> and it's like what I looked at Melissa, she looked at me. We, we, we don't even have to say anything, we just like pray for her and be like, are you in pain? Okay, because if you are, well, I'm in, I'm in there, this is Melissa, are you in pain? Yes, I am. Okay, well, we have something that may help you. Are you willing to, op are you willing and open to take a look at this and we can rub it on your leg? Where does it hurt? <laughs> like, how long did that take, right? Did we know we were going to bump into somebody like that? Right? No, probably not. No, right, Melissa? We had no idea. So, it could happen like that. And we exchange information, so we connect it. Did she let us rub nitro on her leg? Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, finding common ground. I absolutely love this because when you that's the part, that's the beauty of connecting with someone, is that you find common ground with that individual. Common ground, you you it takes a split second. So, we're gonna do a little little uh, activity here that's gonna take just a few seconds, and don't get carried away, all right? So I want you to turn to somebody and introduce yourself, okay? And I want you to find common ground, okay? Can we do this with someone we don't know, or kind of not know, or want to know? Ooh, <laughs> want to know. Okay, so like, you gotta like connect with somebody, connect with someone that you kind of want to know. You gotta, you have, you have literally, you have literally less than a minute. Ready, set, go. Okay, you're going. Go, 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 go. Give it to the hand. That was awesome. Okay, I didn't think that was story. Oh, I didn't think that was story. I didn't think that was story. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what, uh, three way call, um, and then there's the thought 
Coca-Cola, which is the secret sauce. Um, thanks, Mike. So, I was thinking, okay, so I was thinking, that's so much better, yeah? yeah. Okay, so, anyway, so the follow-up is key. How many of you guys have lost people by the wayside without following up? Yeah, we all have. So let's get real. <laughs> let's get real. Let's get real. So we, we lose people by the wayside because how many of you are, are managing your, your prospects? How, how are you mind managing your prospects in a way where you're not going to lose them? I don't know how many times I've talked with my downline. They said, okay, oh my gosh, I met this taxi driver and he is going to blow up in Budapest and he's going to take it to like China. He's like this big time marketer. Yeah. Okay, so six months later, I say, hey, what happened to that taxi guy who wanted to blow up Budapest and like China? Yeah, oh, well, <laughs> I, you know, we did, yeah. So we, we, kind of, we kind of lose people that way, right? So follow up is key. Now, here's one that I really wanted to touch on, because I'm cutting my, my name kind of short, but social media. How many of you guys are social media, or you think you're social media gurus? Right? We have, more people are online than they are offline. And there's so many different ways that you can prospect and bring people into your, your business or share the product through different types of social media. Facebook. How many of you are my friends? <laughs> Take this, apply it, and do it. Don't just leave it on your paper because 